Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back finally after two weeks. In my last video I told you my office was flooded, everything has to be had to be dismantled, I had to take my computer off and now I connected everything, I plugged my Mac, plugged my camera back and I realized my desk is clean and it's probably never going to be clean in this state of form very soon because I have to put everything back, all my tools, all my knickknacks here on the desk and I decided I'm going to record my comeback video. I hope it's going to be just like riding the back uh, and I'm going to talk about this magazine here before everything happened with my office I took a screenshot and I post this in my Facebook group and couple of puzzle groups about these uh, puzzles and I received the reply that people never seen couple of these puzzles before and they are very interested about these puzzles so I'm going to talk about them I do not know for some of them I do not know official English name so I'm going to describe the puzzle so if you know the official English term or the term that is used your country for this puzzle write it down below in the comments please because i also want to find do we have generators for these puzzles and if we do not have i'm going to work to develop them or i'm going to ask people that are developing puzzle generators to work on these puzzles as well now for this this is something i purchased for my A plus content for Amazon KDP images. I'm just going to use this to decorate my A plus content in a unique way to match my books. Now, another subject I need to talk about, and I know it is just like uh, beating a dead horse. I don't know, do you have that term in your country, but we have it here in Europe and it's, usually used when the subject is already finished talked about there is nothing more to add and that is canva the reason why i need to talk about canva is there has been some development in that area and when i say development i mean canva published a youtube video and i'm going to add screenshot and i'm going to screenshot my comments somebody also commented that i'm being negative towards canva that i'm uh, writing against canva and maybe that is true but i'm not trying to be negative and i'm not trying to talk about canva against canva in order to bring down canva in any way shape or form the reason why i'm mentioning and why i'm commenting about canva is because people are still losing their accounts losing their etsy uh, listings losing their kdp books because they used canva and canva is not officially not officially stating what is allowed and what is not allowed and I know some of you are going to say there, there is terms of service, they had this video, but it's not enough. The reason why it's not enough is because if you have license, so you have, you have Canva and you have license that uh, tells your subscribers, this is a Canva element and this is how you can use it. This is a Canva element. This is how you can use it. That's perfectly fine. At the moment, what they say is you can use Canva elements in such way that you overlap them so they are not standalone so standalone use is not allowed you have to overlap them plus you need to put something that is unique originally yours on top of everything and now this together can be sold commercially if it's original enough if it's unique enough and that is the problem uh, what is the factor, determining factor, is this original enough? Is this unique enough? How am I supposed to know, is this original enough? Is this original enough? Is this original enough? So where is that line? So it's just too vague. When the terms of service are too vague, that means if you are using it, you are risking your account. And when it comes to Etsy and KDP, if you are banned from Etsy and KDP, you cannot open another store. You cannot open another account. So you are finished with using those two platforms. So I believe that is quite serious risk that you are taking if you are using Canva. So if 
you want to use Canva elements, you should only sell them as Canva template. If you use Canva, if you want to use Canva for KDP or merch or anything where you're going to actually download a PNG file, PDF file and sell it as that, then you should not use Canva elements. You should only use Canva as an editing tool, design tool, because Canva is great when it comes to editing, when it comes to designing, it is online. You can access it from any, anywhere, from your phone, from any computer. You have also large storage for your design. So you don't have to worry where your design saved. Do you have enough memory? Everything is there. Everything is for you. And you also can go back. This is something that you cannot do. Uh, on your uh, Photoshop design. You cannot go back 30 revisions uh, after you close and save your artwork. You can delete the layers, but it's different in Canva. In Canva, you can actually go back. You can extract a, a specific moment, a specific design at that stage. You can extract that. You can duplicate that. You also have Magic Eraser that is extremely good. You have background removal that is when it's a standalone product, it is very expensive. So just background removal on Canva is a, uh, enough reason for you to get pro subscription. So even if you're not going to use anything else from Canva, just background removal is very cheap and it is the best at the moment on the market when it comes to removal of the background. So there is a plenty of reasons for you to get Canva pro subscription, but you should not use Canva free and pro elements in your commercial designs. Now, the biggest problem I have with Canva is not the terms of service. So they stated in a couple of uh, weird sentences, you can do this, you cannot do this. It's, it's a mess. So let's agree it's a mess. But what I do have problem with Canva is their uh, people that uh, working for Canva officially and on so they are on social media and on social media they are not matching what is in terms of service that is the biggest problem so you have canva official rules and you have canva employee that is a link between canva and subscriber of canva and what they are saying is completely opposite from what is canva stating officially on their web page so i'm going just going to show you an example so a couple of days ago this person in canva official group so this is a canva official group he she posted or he uh, about her coloring book and it's obvious she created her coloring book in canva so she stated that it's all in canva cover is in canva and she's not asking is this allowed she's asking what do you feel? What do we feel about her book? Do we have any suggestions, any remarks? And then you can see other people commenting. This is beautiful. You need to fix the G. You need to fix the C. All perfectly fine comments. Then you have my comments stating none of this is allowed. You cannot use Canva like this. So that's also my opinion. So everybody is entitled to their opinion. But all of us here commenting on her post, we are just civilians. So it doesn't matter. She can believe in my words. She can believe in your words. That's all up to her. But the problem becomes is when the admin, of this group that is employee of Canva. So it's not like me commenting, it's an employee of Canva. Now you have this subscriber in your group that you are admin and this subscriber is showing you design. This is her design. This is Gorilla standalone, a pro element standalone. This is also standalone element for book cover, not covered up. She's showing you this design and you are Canva employee. So Canva is paying you. And your comment is, this is beautiful. This is great. This is perfect. I do not know in top of my head, but the bottom line is this comment is just positive. It doesn't state in any way, shape or form. Sorry, but did you check in terms of service? Is this allowed? And also if I'm paid by Canva, so I'm paid by Canva. I'm going to see this post and it is logical for me that I'm going to take 10, 20 seconds to check. Is this usage the way she is presenting allowed? Because I work on Canva and this is my paying subscriber. I want to protect this person. I want to make sure this person doesn't lose her account because she's using our product 
illegally. She's using Canva illegally, not allowed. So just 20 seconds is necessary for you to log into your Canva account, search for Gorilla line art or outline, and to find out that this image of Gorilla is a pro element and she is using it as a standalone. So number one, that is not allowed ever to use standalone element. And number two, obviously she is sharing that she's publishing a book. She did not mention KDP, but we can presume 99% she's going to use KDP. Canva stated that you are not allowed to use Canva elements free or pro in KDP Amazon books. So if I discover this in period of 30 seconds, one minute, and I'm not paid by Canva, how come somebody that is paid by Canva, admin of the group, is not warning subscriber about this? This is your job. This is your job to warn your subscribers. Sorry, this is not allowed. This is a legal way of using Canva. You should not use this. You cannot use Canva like this. So that is your responsibility. The reason why there is so much confusion about Canva is because of admin like this one is because of people who are employed by Canva on Twitter doing exactly this. Somebody posts on Twitter their Canva design, they have a Canva tag and Canva replies officially from official account, this is beautiful. Instead of this is not allowed, be careful. This is illegal. You are not allowed to use this. No, they say this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. On official Facebook Canva group, this design is perfect, beautiful, wonderful, great work. And as a result of that, when somebody like me or somebody like me make a video about Canva and issues we have with Canva, people are going to say, but who's Marina? Who's me? What are they talking about? It is, I just have a screenshot of Canva officially telling me that my design is beautiful. Yes. And then you upload this to KDP and you lose your account. And then what? Then what? This lack of responsibility from Canva is what I am bothered with. So if you know, if you know that the usage of element is so complicated, standalone, they cannot be standalone and they need to be original enough, unique enough. That is too vague. That is too vague. No other clip art site. So Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, uh, what else? Uh, design Market, none of these sites has such confusing license as Canva has for the graphic elements. So Creative Fabrica gives you full POD. We know what that means. Uh, design bundles have perfect images showing you what is allowed, what is not allowed. So perfect set of photos that you can clearly see, uh -huh, this is allowed, this is not allowed. And I do not understand why Canva is refusing again still to make a sample. This, what they shown in the video, is not an example of what is allowed, what is not allowed. So this mishmash of random images placed on the screen in one minute video, one portion of the video, this is not enough to cover all because you have some elements in Canva that just, they cannot be overlapped. There is absolutely no logical way you can overlap them so the, so the image looks good. So what do we do about those images? So this is the problem I have with Canva. But like I said, uh, the reason why I want to mention that is because of that post. Because this person is because of the admin and because of my comment, of course, she's going to believe to the admin of the group. She said her design is beautiful, design is beautiful. Okay, let's publish this on KDP. And after three days, she could lose her account and it's going to be, oh, Marina, you were right. It's too late. I do not want to be right. That's the whole point. I do not want to be right. I want you to be safe and not lose your Etsy account and not lose your KDP account. So I believe uh, the people who are working on Canva, who are employee of Canva and they are working on social media, they need to take a higher responsibility of warning people when they post something, especially in Facebook groups or on Twitter, when they post a design and you take 30 seconds to figure out, is this pro element, is this free element, because you can easily do that, especially if you are working for Canva. You can see, is this legal usage of Canva. And if you realize it is not, just warn your subscribers. Just tell them, 
yes, design is beautiful, but only if you're going to use it for your private purposes. If it's not for private purposes, you are not allowed. Simple as that. So that is what I want to say about Canva. And I'm going to stop talking about Canva now because I'm going to switch on my magazine. So that's it when it comes to Canva. Let's put this aside. And let's go to this magazine. So the first puzzle here is, I hope that's, that's okay. If you have comments about this, if you want me to stop talking about Canva, say, say down below. If you don't want me to protect you, if you don't want me to continue fighting about this, forcing Canva to give us a proper explanation, not me, because I already know that what well, it's not allowed, but to you and everybody to force Canva to be more proactive when it comes to protecting their subscribers on social media. If you don't want me to talk about that ever again, if you want me to just mind my own business, comment down below. I have no problem. I have so much work of my own. I can very easily stop protecting you or uh, fighting for you if you do not want me to fight for you. So let's switch to this magazine to this puzzle so the first puzzle is quite simple it is a crossword puzzle and uh, it also has anagram so this is this person this is anagram of her name and this is her name here where it's supposed to be written so this is just typical crossword puzzle also crossword puzzle let's see what do we have here so this is the first one but I do not know the name of this puzzle. So this is also a crossword, but you have some letters already pre-written. Also, you have black cells. And then you have here, but it is all alphabetical. So if the word is starting with letter A, the clue is going to be here. So these are all clues for the words that are starting with letter A. When it comes to puzzle grid on its own, it has indication where the words are split. So if the word is actually two words, you have these lines here indicating. So here I have two words. So it's one, two. It's not just one word here. And some of the letters are already written inside. And that is how you fill it in. So you have clues and clues are sorted as per the first letter of the word. And then you need to find them fill them in and all the black box are actually end so all the black box are already written so you do not have to add your own uh, stop cells so the stop cells and cells of the break of this word cells are already written inside what else I believe my daughter loves uh, my daughter loves this puzzle, so that's why it's solved. So this is a combination of two puzzles. So the first one is the word search, and after you solve the word search, you have a couple of letters remaining. So you have words here to find, and then you write them up here, and then you need to fill this in. So you don't have any clues for this except a couple of letters. So the solution here is Lana. So Lana goes here. And now everywhere where you have number eight, so eight is A. So everywhere where you have A, eight, you need to put letter A. And then you try to fill this in just like uh, uh, just like this one, but you don't know, do not have the words. So you need to come up with words that are here for this one. So this is a com so the Croatian term is kombinirka. That's a, that is uh, directly translated means combination. So it's a combination of word search and crossword puzzle, but crossword without clues. You just get the letters to type in here. So that's uh, also a neat kind of puzzle. So this puzzle, this puzzle here, I believe this is a standard crossword puzzle as well. Yeah, yeah, this is a standard crossword puzzle. This one is a crossword puzzle, but a variation. So with the lines, you do not have black stop cells. You have lines where the words stop and the new word begins. This is also a crossword. Okay, and this is the one. This is one. This one on creation is called Talianka. It's Italian. And I believe this is not the correct trans translation of this puzzle. But this puzzle is just like word search, but in reverse. You have the grid, 
you have the grid and you have all the words so it could be a filling some variation of filling so you have all the words that are vertical and that are horizontal for this and you have to fill them in and they give you the clue that in where is it and um, they give you the clue that in this area here we have the name of this person so that is that is how you solve this puzzle so this is a word search puzzle but in reverse you have all the words you need to fill them in the grid so that is that one this is something that we are working at the moment luke baus is going to release a puzzle generator addition in his powerpoint for this puzzle here so this is something that luke baus is going to release very soon i believe the english term is jumble i believe it's from scramble so scramble jumble so you have scrambled uh, words here you have the initial letter here so that's an option doesn't have to be but you have initial letter here and then you have some letters highlighted here that are forming mystery word so that is an example of the puzzle that was suggest suggested by april and this is going to be released soon uh, with luke bow so make sure you follow him it's going to be an addition so if you already have puzzle generator you're just going to update and you're going to have this puzzle uh, inside included in powerpoint so that is coming up this one is a classical word search puzzle with mystery word as you can see so we can skip that one crossword nothing this one is interesting this is a jigsaw crossword jigsaw crossword is where they give you all the blocks of the crossword puzzle but they don't give you anything else so you need to place this somewhere here so it makes sense so they give you all just like a crossword is solved and then you cut it out and then you just like a puzzle so it, that's why it's it the name is jigsaw puzzle you have to you have to solve it back again inside here so if you know the official name of this puzzle here let me know down below in the comments this one is Similar to crossword puzzle, as you can see, you have the lines, so you don't have blocks, you have lines, but they give you all the all the parts of the word separated with vowels. So they give you all the parts of the words and clues, and you have to solve them here. The creation term is pananagramka. Pananagramka. I have no idea. I, I'm not going to even attempt to translate that. I do not like this one. I never liked crossword puzzle i like more uh, puzzles that require iq not general knowledge because i suck at general knowledge crossword puzzle another puzzle crossword puzzle crossword puzzle this one is where you have to first guess this word so you have explanation for this not for the this part you have clues for this section here and then all the letters that are here are in here but mixed so you are you you're supposed to use these letters from here and fill this in here so every letter that is missing here it's actually here in this word and for this word you have the clue so this puzzle doesn't have a name it says here complete me so that's the the title of this puzzle complete me so this is an anagram here you have the clue for uh, it's not anagram it's because you don't have uh, letters so you need to fill this here as per the clue and then whatever letters you have here you fill them in this section here let's go this is already talked about this is standard clues crossword puzzle this one i love 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 this one this is a word search and I truly hope somebody is going to come up with a puzzle generator for this one. It, because it's very simple. I believe if you already have a puzzle generator that generates word search puzzles, this should be an easy add-on to uh, as a twist to your uh, puzzle generator. You have initial word search. So initial word search, that means every word, first letter, is already included 
in the puzzle grid. So every first letter of all the words is included. But the list of words, and this is tricky, it's not like alphabetic or numerical, it is actually per direction. So this word here is going bottom right, this one going straight up. So you have the list in direction where they're going, and this here is going to form the mystery word. So if you have the name, if you ever seen this kind of puzzle in your region, please let me know down below, do you have this? And what is the name in Croatia? It is called initial word search. So that means you have all the words, initials inside the grid and you need to fill everything inside. I love this puzzle. I love this one. But this is not my copy. This is copy for my daughter. So that's why I didn't solve it. We don't mix between one another. Here, this is a typical same number, same letter. So same number, same letter. Here, where the arrow is, you need to type the name of this uh, famous uh, Italian singer, tenor. You need to write his name here. And once you write his name here, you will see that each letter has a number. You need to fill that in here. And then you need to complete the rest of the grid. And uh, you need to follow the logic that same number is same letter. So if the zero is A, then everything where is zero, you need to put A. What else do we have here? I love this one. This one is also a uh, fill-in, variation of the fill-in. You have a list of words that you need to fill in here with uh, number. The list is split by number of characters in the word, but also you see indication with the arrows. So some uh, words inside are not here on the list. They are actually presented with the image. So this is Italy, obviously, so I need to find where I can fit Italy here somewhere. I have chess, I have Africa, so I need to find where I can fit them in. So this is a fill-in. I believe this is a fill-in. Maybe it's a variation of the fill-in puzzle. Crossword, another crossword. But well, this one is this one is interesting. So you have a number, let's say zero, and zero can be either Z, E, or L, but they can switch. So zero can be any of these three letters, and that is how you figure out this puzzle. So if this is two, two can have some of these three letters. So that is how you solve this puzzle. It's The name is cryptogram. Creation name is cryptogram. If you have your own name, ask me down below or comment down below if you have the name for this kind of puzzle. So the grid, puzzle grid has uh, numbers. Each number is one of the three letters and you need to figure out which one of these three letters is in here. So this is maze, spot the difference, dot to dot. I love this one. This is a fill-in. This is a classical crossword. This one, this is a, a number search puzzle and it usually has a mystery number as well. So this one is how many uh, people were m killed by sharks in past 150 years in our area in Adriatic. So it's one digit number here, as you see. So this is a number search. And this is opposite. So this is without initials word search. So you have all the words inside, but you are missing the initial letter. You need to fill in the initial letters. And then the initial letters are once you cross everything and the remaining letters are going to give you a mystery word. So this is a reverse from the initial word search. Here you do not have initial letters are missing. This is a crossword in the shape of the beehive, so that's typical. And this one is for couples, so class classical uh, crossword puzzle. One is facing that way, the other one is facing this way. This is also interesting for KDP book, but it's probably going to be a tricky to publish something like this with KDP because they do not allow 180 degrees content. But I could try it. I could try and I'm going to tell you what, what happens because this part is facing me and this part is facing whoever is solving the puzzle with me. This one is what is the its unofficial name is a logic 
puzzle where you have to read the clues and then you need to figure out what is what. Let's continue. This one, I believe this is a, another fill-in. Yeah, this is another fill-in, but a couple of words are missing. So these highlighted words are missing, but we have them in the list. So we know where they are in the list. So you need to fill in. This is a fill-in puzzle. This is a crossword puzzle, but some letters are highlighted. And then it actually solves this image here. Fox, snake, and snakes. But it's on creation, so it doesn't make sense. This is Megatalian. Megatalian is, for me, it's a crossword puzzle, but without the block spots. You need to fill in your own block spots. It's a solution. Crossword. And another. But this, oh, this is not a crossword, I believe. Yeah, this is not. This is also an interesting puzzle. So this is a word search puzzle in the shape of a crossword puzzle. So the words are not given in the list. Words are actually here. So it says here, Ares. So somewhere in here I have A, and I need to put A A R S A R S. So it only can be in this direction. So I have the words for the word search, but it's actually. In here, it's not in the list, and I have to fill it in. So this is a fill-in, maybe. It's not word search. It's actually a fill-in type of puzzle. And that's it. That's my Back to YouTube video. If you have any questions, ask me down below. Hopefully, I'm going to start publishing videos more regularly. I have a lot of updates when it comes to what I'm going to do with my Creative Fabrica account and my store. I need to upload a lot of things on my Gumroad store as well. So a lot of things are happening. Also, it's summer, so I'm going to be in the water a lot. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Until the next video, I'll see you down below in the comments. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.